Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, you all. Thanks. Thanks, thanks. Thanks for coming on in or um, logging on to, hey there, Evie, to see what I have to say. Um, I was actually um, just going to post it, um, but I just felt the unction just to come on here live and share um, what I have to say concerning um, the state of uh, the, the United States um, and what the Lord showed me that's getting ready to take place in a dream. I was uh, kind of hesitant to share it, but um, it was something that just kept being impressed upon me to share. And I didn't want to um, be sharing out of my, um, my own heart, but I wanted to search myself just to um, make sure I was in alignment with um, what I was hearing and, and what God showed me. So, um, in my dream, and I wanted to be able to interpret the dream correctly before I actually, um, shared it, um, with, uh, people that, um, want to hear what I have to say or those that, um, don't want to hear. <laughs> um, but nevertheless, I'll share, with um, you all, what the Lord um, actually um, show, showed me via um, dream, which I tend to dream prophetically um, quite often, um, and the Lord shows me things that are to come and um, things that um, will take place and um, situations um, concerning my life as well. So um, I'll begin to share those with you now. Well. This dream happened actually, um, I think it was Saturday night. And um, in this dream, it was, um, min there were ministry leaders. And I'll give you um, the short version concerning the US, um, the United States of America. And um, I really didn't at the time, um, well, I'll back, I'll, I'll do a little uh, um, history on myself. I'm not one that dives a whole lot into politics and in government. Um, I don't tend to um, get wrapped up in um, in things of such, but in the spirit realm that there's so much that's taking place um, right now in our country. And the Lord is really setting some things in order, not only in the United States, but in the church. So I just want to share the burden that's on me concerning this coming election. And it's so, um, um, I want to say, um, awesome that the Lord would give me this dream on um, such a time as this because it wasn't something, again, I'm not one that dives into politics. I'm not one that dives into um, a whole lot of um, political um, conversations. Um, I just believe what I believe. I vote the way I vote. And yes, I vote it. Um, and that's it. Uh, but I am an active voter. I do allow my voice to be heard. So I'm going to share with you the dream that I had and the significance of the dream and the interpretation that the Lord gave me again. Um, in this dream, it happened uh, actually Saturday night. And um, in this dream, it was um, the Statue of Liberty. And in the Statue of Liberty, ministry leaders, key ministry leaders in our, our nation or what represented ministry leaders for me in our nation were at the Statue of Liberty. And what began to happen is there began to be great rain, great storms and, and, and great thunder um, coming from the heavens and the, the, um, the Statue of Liberty began to be drowned. Like, I know the Statue of Liberty is like over 22 stories high. So this water, and I, from my knowledge and understanding of being at the Statue of Liberty, which I actually visited the Statue of Liberty earlier this year, it rests on an island in, in, in the middle of, um, 
a body of water. It's actually on, um, I think it's Liberty Island, um, not too far from Ellis Island. So it's Liberty Island that the Statue of Liberty is on. So in this, in this dream, there were great rains, which rain represents political unrest and, um, political restlessness and, um, 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 trouble. So, or, or water represents trouble and, and the rain and the water was representing the political um, unrestlessness, but God began to um, give me the interpretation of the dream. So the waters began to flood the Statue of Liberty and the Stat Statue of Liberty is a representation in our country of our liberties and our freedoms that we have here. So in this coming election, the Lord began to show me that uh, what's getting ready to take place in um, our country is our liberties are going to are going to begin to be threatened um, with getting what's getting ready to take place. It's not only political restlessness that's getting ready to take place in the in the United States, but it's also um, the judgment of God. The judgment of God is is really um, coming down on the United States based off them following following falling away from who God is and who he has been in this country. So again, Statue of Liberty, great rain, great storm. The Statue of Liberty began to be flooded and so much so that it re reached the top of the torch. And from my knowledge and understanding, the Statue of Liberty holds the torch in the L Lady Liberty holds the torch in her hand. So the torch is basically one of the highest points of the Statue of Liberty. Well, it's not scary if you're a believer and if you um, understand that the government is on the shoulders of God and he's the one that um, controls um, our, he's the one that controls our destiny. So if we fall in line under his word and his plan, um, and, and we live according to the kingdom of God and we're citizens in the kingdom of God that this stuff will not um, affect us. So that leads me to the um, next part of the dream. So in this in this dream, the Statue of Liberty um, was she was holding the torch and all the ministry leaders began to run to the torch. And from my understanding of the torch, again, the Lord began to give me the interpretation of this dream. The torch that the Statue of Liberty holds represents righteousness and the light. And again, the waters began to flood even up to the um, one of the highest points. Her crown is a high point and the torch is a high point of the Statue of Liberty. But the... Um, the uh, rains and waters begin to flood the torch and actually the ministry leaders began to flood to the torch. And if you do a little bit of research about torches, they can illuminate and light even under water. So, but the torch represents righteousness, the religious aspect of, of the, of, um, of our nation. So, Again, the body of believers need to come back to righteousness and need to come back to God so that um, um, that what the Lord is, the judgment that the Lord is getting ready to send on the United States does not affect the body of believers. And in this dream, the body of believers were submerged underneath the, um, the torch and the um, submerged inside the torch under the waters but the body of believers were not overtaken. Again, the body of believers, the, the ministry leaders, it's very vital and important that, that those that are holding position, those that are leading the body of Christ would fall in line underneath the will of God and the plan of God and fall in line underneath the word of God so that uh, the people that they're leading will be uh, preserved and saved in this season that the Lord is bringing judgment on the United States. And not only the United States, but the church as well. But again, the church has to run to him. Run 
to God. It's it's a time, it's a very pivotal time in our nation. It's a very pivotal time in our country. And the Lord is setting things in order. Again, earlier this week, I uh, put up a post about God speaking to me and telling me that he was going to uh, bring down the sons of Eli and the uh, prophet's um, that represents Samuel, God was going to bring them to the forefront. And I see the Lord doing that in the body of believers. There is a prophet. Um, there are prophets that have not bowed down to Baal. Um, so God is raising up people that have his heart. God is raising up people that have his, his, um, um, his, um, his desire. Um, God is raising up people that will hear him and people that would uh, bend to the will of the Lord and those that have not bowed down to um, 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 Baal as um, Elijah um, ran because the prophets were being slaughtered. The prophets were giving in to false gods and false idols. And the Lord spoke a word to Elijah saying, I have 7,000 prophets that have not bowed down to Baal. You are not the only one that is still left. There is still a remnant that the Lord is rising in this seat or raising in this season that has not bowed down to Baal. So with that being said, again, Statue of Liberty, um, great storms, great waters. It, it represents political unrestlessness, um, uh, political restlessness, and the judgment of God. So, um, but our safety is in God. Again, the torch represents the religious aspect of our country. So, if we uh, run to God, get in his word, get in his prayer, get in prayer to seek the will of God concerning not only our lives, but our children's lives and futures, then our, um, will be saved. So, um, he'll hide us in his word and in prayer and seeking his face. And, um, but there is, um, um, a rest coming to the body of believers. So I just want to share what, um, oh, and not only that, even in this dream, there began to be violent waves, violent waves that came across the waters and people were running. People were, people were running. You're going to see a great running to the church for safety. There's going to be a great running back to the church. I, I even see a lot of, um, um, backsliders um, returning, a lot of prodigal sons and daughters, those that have callings on their lives because of what the Lord is getting ready to allow to hit the, the nation, a lot of people are going to be running from that and coming back to safety, which is in the house of God. So just want to share what I saw. Uh, people of God, get your houses in order. Make sure you're in alignment with the will of God, the plan of God, because it's in him that we have safety. It's in him that um, we find rest. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for watching the um, replay. Um, just wanted to share what the Lord showed me. And of course, um, um, I'll get on again because again, I'm new to, to Facebook live, but, um, I just want to be obedient to the Lord and what he's saying. I'm coming out of the cave and what he says, I'm going to say, love you all be encouraged. Again, if you are not connected with a good Bible based ministry that believes in Jesus Christ, get connected to your local body of believers and grow, grow, grow grow. It's important that you take the time to go and grow. Grow in the Lord and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior. Or grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The time is now. It doesn't matter who's in office. God gets the final say so. God gets the final say so. If Hillary or Trump win, um, the Lord didn't show me who was winning. The Lord didn't show me um, if it was going to be Trump or Hillary, frankly, uh, like my son said the other night, neither one of them deserve our votes, but you have to vote according to wisdom and you have to vote according to the word of God. So, um, with that being said, it's God who brings the final say so. So, um, and if Hillary or Clinton get in and they're corrupt, God is going to use it for his glory. 
if he gets in and the Lord has to use him to bring judgment, use her to bring judgment, God's will is still going to be done. So that's my little snippet. Um, but I was also, um, I'll share, I'll share that with you all later. I'll share that with you all later because I got to get out of here and um, uh, go actually go get some things for um, my husband's birthday because it's his birthday today. So you guys tell my honey happy birthday. Uh, so I got to uh, take him out this evening. So yeah, that's it. That's what the Lord showed me in my dream. So if you guys didn't get to uh, watch it fully, watch the replay, um, again, get your houses in order. There is a time and a set time and a set season that the Lord is going to bring judgment. But the body of believers, God is preserving the body of believers in. Thank you guys. I'll tell them. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sherry's honey. Yep. <laughs> but God is, is really going to preserve the body of believers, those that really seek him and those that um, um, get in their word and get in prayer and um, fall to their knees because it's in him that we live. It's in him that we move. It's in him that we have our being. So, amen. <laughs> Love you guys. Thanks for watching.